Greetings, and welcome to the tutorial for creating a voxel mesh. Our objectives here are first to understand some mesh settings, then to create a voxel mesh, and finally to refine the settings to improve the mesh. So in NetFab simulation, we import a part, select powder bed fusion, hitting create simulation at the beginning, and then we locate the part and open it. We indicate that it is a part rather than a support structure. We check the uh, model units. And then we have the part in place. Might want to reposition a little bit. And then the first place we go to is the mesh settings dialog, mesh settings icon. And Two key settings here are the minimum wall thickness and accuracy. For both of these, there's a trade-off between the runtime for generating the mesh and the accuracy of the results. A small minimum wall thickness will have a long runtime and produce an accurate mesh, while a larger value will generate more quickly but produce a coarser mesh. For accuracy, a setting of fastest will have a short runtime and coarser mesh, while a setting of most accurate will produce a very detailed mesh, but take a long time to do it. For a minimum wall thickness, choose a value roughly equal to the thinnest wall of the part. We'll leave this at one millimeter for now. And then for accuracy, we'll choose a setting of fast. Click OK, and then we'll click Mesh Preview, and save the project with a suitable name in the right directory. As soon as we click Save, the generation of the mesh begins. The solver now evaluates the geometry for thickness in different areas and generates small 3D elements or voxels in areas of detail and larger voxels where less accuracy is required. When the analysis is done, we load the results. And we can see varying voxel sizes here. And now to better examine the mesh, we add a clipping plane from the View tab. Press Clipping here. Then we can edit it, snap the plane to YZ axis. You can see how that looks. And we're on the wrong side of the clipping plane, so we invert the normal. And then we click Close, and we can get a better view of the inside of the part. And notice that the side walls here have a thickness of one element. And a rule of thumb in NetFab simulation is that these should have at least two elements. So we're going to refine this mesh. We go back to the Home tab, to Mesh Settings, and we'll change, we'll increase the accuracy from fast to accurate. Click OK, and then generate a new preview. This mesh is going to take a little bit longer to generate because it's more accurate. When we see the results, the curves around the top are noticeably a little more detailed and smoother. So let's examine this more closely with the clipping plane from the View tab. Choose the same settings. And now we can zoom in here and examine the mesh in more detail. We see that the side walls now have a thickness of two voxels, which is more suitable. And this cross-section also clearly shows a unique feature of the NetFab simulation solver, uh, which is that it can handle hanging nodes or constrained nodes, like we see here. As a result, over a very short distance, the mesh can change from small voxels in areas of fine detail 
to large voxels in areas such as the build plate where less fidelity is required. This feature allows us to keep the number of degrees of freedom very low in the analysis, uh, which results in very fast run times. So in summary, in this tutorial, we learned to understand voxel mesh settings. Uh, we created a voxel mesh, examined it, and adjusted the settings to make a mesh that's more suitable for analysis.